Snowstorms and you have snowmakers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This one and these two. I think I'm gonna get all three. <laughs> oh boy. I have decided I want to do the $20 makeup challenge. So in I go. Let's see if I can find $20 worth of makeup at Target in the middle of nowhere. I just went into Sally's. Oh my god, so much nail polish. Up first, I think I'll get some foundation. 
I know this stuff is good and I know foundation is important. And I think it's pretty cheap. It's only $4.99. That mascara in the middle is only $1.97. Oh, I wish I could get a better mascara, but a bit more expensive. These brushes are only a dollar and two cents. I might get myself one eye brush, which I'm already holding. Just so that it would make my eye makeup easier. Now to find some cheap eye makeup. I don't think they realize that these jumbo eye pencils are amazing here. All they have is the color milk. It's all milk. That's crazy. Normally that's the one color you can't find. I can't find the prices for these mixed palettes here. But it'd be cool if I could get a whole eyeshadow palette. I'm only up to I think seven or eight dollars, so I think I have room for a whole palette and then I can use a brown as a brow powder. Hmm. I did it guys. $19.78. I was assuming there was about 8% tax, so I must have counted something wrong because I was expecting $19.96. But $19.78. So can't wait to see how this goes. That was really hard, oh my god. Shopping trip over, oh my god. So much beauty stuff. Uh, Sally's, Sephora, and Target for the $20 makeup challenge, and I'm excited to film that. I thought I would show you guys all of the stuff that I ended up buying yesterday because I kind of fail at vlogging in stores. So, the first thing that I got was mostly my mother's idea. She really wanted to try out this Buxom Vanity Lash Mascara because it had this really cute idea that you can get a specific brush for your needs. I got a roller ball of the Prada Candy Perfume because I don't have it yet, but this should last me quite a while. It smells so good. My mom surprised me and I finally own a full size of the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and just look at this adorable packaging. It is the cutest thing, the packaging is adorable, and I finally own the full size. And then I got this box of the Little Perversions from Urban Decay. The things that it came with are the Perversion Mascara in a travel size, the Ink for Eyes Waterproof Precision Eye Pen, an all-nighter eyeliner, Subversion Lash Primer, Deluxe Sample Size, and a 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil. I was going to buy a duo of the mascara with the lash primer, but then as I was about to pay, I saw this and I was like, oh, might as well try some other things while I'm at it. So we went to Sally's where I had an impulse moment and I really wanted to buy these. And I've always wanted to try having pink and purple hair and my mother wanted me to try out the aqua one. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna save it for after my photo show in February. I've heard a lot about this out of the door top coat. It's supposedly comparable to Sesh Feet, but stinks less and possibly works better. Then I got two OPI colors, Malaga Wine. And the other color is Bont to Bite My Neck. It's a nice deep purple. And then finally I got some of these silk tabs for when I snap a nail. I just stick them on and hopefully they will keep my nail from breaking off instead of having to do it like the old fashioned way. As for the Target stuff, I won't go into full details because you will be seeing me using all of this in my $20 makeup challenge, but this is a sneak peek at all that I got.
Someone decided they don't need their undergarments when they're skiing anymore. So it's New Year's Eve and I'm on the mountain. The conditions are beautiful. I just hate that they have these ice snow blower things going on. But you know, you do what you gotta do to get some powder since it hasn't been a snowy season yet. And that is why my whole entire face is covered. You guys can't see me because oh my god. Let's stab you in the face. So this is how it's done on my New Year's Eve. I just got out of the car. It's great. I got this delicious it's called this martini that was like white right chocolate and chocolate and whipped cream. Oh my god. In New York, that'd be like ooh, 16 bucks. So I'm happy. I got to reach the moguls and I can't feel my hand, but I'm trying to vlog. Uh, I'm gonna be posting this like a week after New Year's, so I hope you guys had a happy New Year's Eve, whatever you did, and I'll see you guys later.